Today we're here in San Diego, California with the all new 2019 Toyota Avalon. And once again, they will have both a gasoline and a hybrid version. The primary difference is with the hybrid model, in addition to the badging right here and the wheels, there is also blue accents on the grille on the rear of the vehicle and then the push button for the push button start is also blue. For 2019, Avalon will have four different trims. Now Toyota kind of divides these trims between sporty and luxury. On the sporty side, you have the XSE and the Touring models, which will have a blacked out grille. On the luxury side, you'll have the XLE and the Limited, which has more of the luxury looking, elegant grille. The hybrid model will only be available in XSE, XLE, and limited trims. Toyota has done something really interesting with the pricing for the Avalon. They've added $1,700 worth of content, but the price increase over the previous generation is only $250. Pricing for the XLE Avalon, and this is for the gasoline model, will start at $35,500. Now, if you go all the way up to the Touring trim, you're looking at $42,200. The gasoline version will come equipped with a 3.5 liter V6 engine, and this will deliver 301 horsepower and 267 pound-feet of torque. Fuel economy ratings will be around 25 or 26 miles per gallon, and that's in combined driving. If you switch over to the hybrid model, the base price at the XLEA trim will be $36,500. And if you go up to the limited trim, you're looking at $42,800. You're looking at a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that's mated to an electric motor. Combined output will be 215 horsepower. Fuel economy for this model will be around 44 or 43 miles per gallon, again, depending on the trim. Toyota is trying to attract younger buyers to this vehicle and their brand by adding things like Apple CarPlay, JBL Premium Audio, and, get this, five standard USB ports. We had the opportunity to drive everything from the XLE all the way up through the Touring model. The riding handling between all of the trims isn't really going to be that different. The big difference is going to be in how the engine sounds coming into the cabin. The XSC and the Touring trim will be a little bit louder so that you get that sporty feel. In the XLE and the Limited, there's more noise canceling in those two trims. I actually preferred the XLE and the Limited because it was very calming and very peaceful. Even though the hybrid has a 2.5 liter engine, 215 horsepower is actually plenty of power to motivate this car. I actually really like the hybrid, maybe a little bit better than the gasoline model. I'm definitely more on the aggressive side of things and I was still averaging 40 miles per gallon. So I think that's a total win. Toyota has done a lot of work to add more content, bolder styling, and to keep the price relatively the same. If you like a luxurious, comfortable ride that has just a little bit of sport, you totally need to add the 2019 Toyota Avalon to your must-test list.